This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. I think we we will never forget where we were the day we found out that Pelicanos in Double Bay was closing down. Um, oh. Tough day for me, really tough. You are right. It's right up there when, when you heard J Lo and Ben, ben Affleck, Affleck yeah. had separated. Finally. I just what so many it, great times. Just so Tell many beautiful one. people around the Double Bay area just having a great time. I actually ended 20, up. I ended up twenty eight dollars for a cocktail. It was just beautiful. I ended up there at my Bucks party, I think. I think you did, yeah. yeah. And a mate of mine fell asleep with his head on the bar. Mm, well, was he asked to leave? I think he was, and so was his brother. Was How that big Tommy? was his head? Oh, no. Yeah. If he um, couldn't hold it up. I think I went to a Nova <laughs> event there once. Did you? Very first, low ceiling. I first joined the drive show with Tim and Marty. Yeah. I think there was something there. Had some artwork on we the went, walls. Tommy, well, after Tommy Williams' wedding, we went back to Pelicano for a bit as well. Hello. Um... Pelicano's back, guys. It is back. And how's this, in a bit of an ironic twist, Mm. it's taking place of another iconic venue from years ago in King's Cross, Kate. Do you want to have a bit of a crack at that? Why are you asking me this? Where is Pelicano going now in King's Cross, everybody? Bourbon and Beef State. Where the Sapphire was. The old Hugo's. (gasps) Above dancers. Look out. (laughs) Get out. Town. Oh, wow. Two venues where we did quite a bit of damage over mm-hmm. the years are coming together as one. So Get- Pelicano will be in the old Hugo site at King's Cross. Oh. Is King's Cross making a bit of a comeback? Well, I don't it's, know. It's good for restaurants and things. Like, it's yeah, like got a po- when you pace. head into Potts Point yeah. and things. Point, yeah. Not that I ever go out. You've got Apollo there, the Greek restaurant. That's right. I'd love awesome. them to bring back Bayswater Brasserie. That's a that's oh, a hit from out. the nineties. Yeah. And Tommy Dreamgirls is definitely over now, isn't it? Like that's yeah, yeah. They would didn't didn't let me buy it this time around, but um, but damn. Because, you, oh, know. you were so close. Yeah. I thought that was a great <laughs> offer. Yeah. Well, Where? thanks for going guarantor on that, guys. Where did too. we go? <laughs> there was a Nova Christmas party in King's Cross. A piano. Yes. Yeah, no? was it? Tom, you went dressed as a horse. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Why? Yeah, that's not, oh, a, that's was not it a joke. Yeah, I'm not even sure if it was dress up. Black Kate. caviar, I think it was. But the, uh, it was a wonderful night. But yeah, so so Where much fun that? we've had. I can't remember the uh, the exact name, Butterbing or something. Minsk- like. Butter- Minsky's. Butterbing Butter- 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 we went to. I'm not it, sure. That is a, oh. That was a... That, is that a strip club? Yeah, oh. I thought so. Oh, Tom, where were you? My oh. crossed. What about this? Where were you, and this is without a word of a lie, when you decided to tell your now wife that you had feelings for her? Oh. Just tell everyone. She was on a girls' night. Um, she was in an establishment where clothes fall off. Butterbean? With the girls. Butterbean. It's a butterbean. Yeah, and and I came what along as... What were you doing a, there? Well, no, just as a friend, um, I came support, along... Yeah, friendly Because they're all like... It was just out and about. There was nothing seedy about it. It was just like girls out and about having fun. I hear your sisters. And, um, yeah, I mean, this like they're the yeah. allowed to. Yeah. <laughs> where are the beers, Pauline? <laughs> for the girls. But yes. Uh, yeah, but... Oh, Tommy, I think that's great. And then oh, what happened? This is it. This, this is the big one. The only way is up from there. <laughs> well, I, t- I told my wife, wi- my now wife, Inga, how I felt about her. Yeah. At the time, yeah, because yeah. uh, I had strong feelings for her, but she couldn't hear me over the loud awesome. music and dancing. Over the lap dance you were getting. Well, so, uh, really no, hard to tell no, some girl you love her no, while you're slipping a no, 20 into another girl's pair of underpants. That is not. That's right, not. Oh, it's I, coming up now. Tom I, Tom, I can't. Tom, I can't hear you. First of all, can you stop dancing with that girl? And if you've got something to say to me, say it to my face. <laughs> The, the timing. The moral of the story is timing is everything, and I got my timing wrong. But, but you very didn't hard. because you're happily married well, with three children. <laughs> Great warm up, mate. Yes, very fits. hard to say I love you to someone when you're getting motivated. <laughs> All right, mate. I think we'll, that's probably where we'll... You can't get your words out. Oh, sounds we'll, like you're drowning, all mate. Right. You went on the harbour, we'll, no, no, it was like a whale it. caught in a net. Okay. I think I love you. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, okay. I think we can no, shut that down, can't we, We've Kate? got such a big morning yeah. still to come on the show, so let's not ruin it now. Well said. Bring it together. Tom's we still will got a black eye. We will preview... <laughs> Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, download the Nova Player via the App Store or Google Play. The Nova Player.